Hey guys, this is a pretty short lesson on converting radical, radical expressions to exponential form. So we're really just going to be looking at things that look like this. So I will just start by showing you some examples and then you can try some on your own. So if I have seven, so the, so remember that with the square root, there's kind of an invisible two out here. So if I want to convert this to its exponential form, I just write this as one over two. So this is basically kind of the idea. So we know that if we have the nth root of x, that will equal x to the one over n. So that's just the thing you want to get uh, in the habit of here. So for this next one, so now I have a three here. So this will be eight to the one third. And just to maybe round this out, so the, the cube root of eight or, or eight to the one third, that would equal two. Now next I have this one. So notice I have this exponent here and, and this exponent here. So, or sorry, this, this root here. So the way that that would get written then, this would be five and then two over two. So maybe just to be nice and clear with this, this two came up on top here. So that's where that would go. And you can see just by looking at this then, right? Two over two is just one. So this whole thing just equals five. So what you want to do is try to simplify these exponents whenever you can, if, if it's possible. So I have here just three for you to try with that in mind. Hit pause and then hit play when you're ready. So for this first one, so I would rewrite this as seven to the six over three. So that's just seven squared. Now for this one, this is x to the 16th over four. So 16 over four, that's just going to give me x to the fourth. And then for this final one, this will be x to the two over six. So that will simplify to x to the one third. So this is a pretty short video, um, but if you found it helpful, please like, comment, and share and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.